Jackie and I had a request <laughs> for a short video on morning yoga. I'm going to be honest with you, my mornings look very different and it depends on what I need that morning. But I can tell you that in general, I love to do things that will get my joints and especially my spine, my shoulders, my knees, hips, okay, ankles, wrists, all of that good stuff. I like to get it moving and going. So I'm going to show you just a few of my favorite series put together. For this, I use a block and a strap. Um, you can always substitute or skip. I'm going to start laying over this block to kind of get some opening in my chest and to get some movement in the shoulders and that thoracic spine. This is one of my favorite things to do. Okay, I'm going to come back and I'm going to line up the front edge of this block pretty much with my shoulder blades. So as I come down, I'm probably higher on this block than you would think. And you can play around with this, seeing exactly where it is that works the best. But when you start to get a little lower on the block like I am, it's easier to get um, this back bend. But really what I want is my chest opening. So I'm gonna come up a little higher. Sometimes it's nice to have two blocks if the head is supported especially first thing in the morning. We'll let the arms move out wide. We're gonna have some visitations today. This is Baxter. Baxter, how is your thoracic spine this morning? Good, awesome. Probably because he was doing lots of uh, up and down dogs, I saw him. So here you're gonna stay as long as you want. And to come up, pull the low belly back and up, get really strong, and come up. All right, now I hang on to the block, and this is one of my favorite ways to start to wake up the spine and the core. I take this block, and you can place it in whatever thickness works, and it can go between your inner thighs, between your inner knees, or between the lower legs. I like to place it between the lower legs because I wanna make sure that I'm kind of lined up, hips, knees, ankles, and I keep my feet really active and I'm squeezing in towards this block. And so it keeps my legs active, okay? So arms go out shoulder height and palms down for a little support. The low belly pulls back and up and you're gonna slowly start to move side to side, but both shoulders stay down. So these may be fairly small movements, okay? This is not about how far down you get. I'm gonna shift so you can see me a little better. Baxter, you're gonna get laid on. All right, here we go. So shoulders stay down. You just wanna be on camera, don't you? Mm-hmm. And coming to your side, you may get smushed. All right, so I typically find that with a few back and forths, I gain a little more range of motion, but that is not necessary and it's not the point. So we're getting some spinal twisting going on here. You'll also feel your core starting to wake up, especially those sides. All right, so. The next, moment is, the next movement is we're going to take kind of that same idea and take it just a little bit farther. And once again, I'm going to show you a couple of different ways. So this time, I'm going to have my right leg out long and the left leg up. And this is where a strap can be really awesome. So taking a strap, reaching that right leg out long, almost like you're trying to push against a wall and you're gonna give a little bit of resistance here in this strap. And just pull it in, you're just looking for a little bit of stretch. Now please don't pay any attention to how far my leg is in. Your leg may be right here and that's totally fine. It's okay if there's a little bend in it, but it's really better 
um, for where we're taking it if the, the knee can be straight. So don't worry about it if it's back here. All right, as you're here, you're gonna think about taking this, the left leg is up, I'm gonna take my left hip and try to press it forward a little bit. And then I'm gonna start to come over to the side. It's totally okay if this shoulder pops up now. And I'm gonna let it just hover and then come back up. And you're gonna resist the urge to pull with this strap, okay? So you can also try it without. Makes it a really interesting, so you're drawing in and then rolling it over, stretching through that right foot. And that left hip is still trying to reach down, almost like a little roll towards the base of the mat. And then you're gonna let it come all the way over, reaching down through that left hip, reaching through both legs. Pretty big spinal twist. Bring it up and do the same thing with the other leg. I'm gonna turn this way so you can see a little bit different angle of what's happening. So left leg is out long and straight. Oh, my head may get out of this. I don't know if it's gonna stay in this frame or not. Okay, <laughs> maybe we're okay. So with the strap or not, you're gonna have an active leg. Actually active both legs. Left leg is reaching forward now, right leg is reaching up and it's pulling in. Low belly is pulling back and up. This is an active motion. And then I'm gonna start to take it over to the side, letting it hover, coming back up and over, reaching through that right foot. And up one more time. Remember that right hip is reaching down and I'm reaching through that right heel. This time it's gonna come all the way down. Reach through that right foot, reach through the left foot and pull that right hip like it's trying to roll down towards my left heel. All right, now, this next one is um, really interesting. <laughs> I'm gonna stay this way first, because what you're gonna do, and their arms can be wherever they just feel like they're supportive. You're gonna bring the legs up and you're gonna twist. Okay, so right knee over left, possibly again. So basically eagle legs, right? But we're not gonna stay here. We're gonna be active and we're gonna move. And back, and back, and back. And you can take as much movement as you want here and kind of the bigger you get. And the more you just feel, this feels so good in the hips, <laughs> you get them moving. And it's a little active and dynamic. All right, and then I'm gonna let them wrap up. And then I'm gonna take it over. And up, and over. And up, I'm gonna wrap them up the opposite way. And take it over. And up. And over. And up. All right, unwind it. You're gonna come back up. And then we're gonna go one more movement. I'm gonna roll back around this way. You're staying the whole time, aren't you, buddy? So this is some of my favorite work as well. A little dead bug pose. So your arms are gonna reach straight up. Shoulders kind of relax back towards the floor. Knees, legs can be bent, okay? Sometimes dead bug is like this. We're gonna bend the knees. And you're gonna think about that same activity. You're in the way backs. You're gonna kind of squeeze the inner legs in to create some activity here. Low belly is going to pull in and up a little bit. Now think about squeezing into the core, but you're going to kind of let your body um, react naturally and engage in the way it needs to. So here we're going to take right arm and left leg. Reach and reach. Left arm, right leg. Back and forth. The leg can straighten out if you choose but you want that to feel really easy and comfortable and you don't want your low back popping up off the floor. Hi, sir. You're killing me. Get out of here, man. How are we gonna do dead bug with you in the way? 
All right, just a couple more. See, now I can't even remember how to coordinate. All right. <laughs> now, hug the knees in. And this is one of those that I think it just depends on how it feels. I love full rock and rolls. You don't have to go in this full motion. Maybe it just feels good to rock like this. Okay. Give that a try <laughs> and you'll see really wakes up the hips and the spine, gives you a good start to your morning. So will loving on your puppies. All right. See you guys later.